What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, everybody? What's up? I just figured I'd come through and chit-chat with y'all like some awesome real, awesome real shit because a girl has been going through some stuff, like serious. And then um, then it's just regular stuff. You know, let me, let me just say this. Why do I feel like for the past like two weeks, people have really been trying to try me. You know, when you ever decide in your life that you just want to try your best to be the best person you can be, you're going to give people the benefit of the doubt. You're going to, you're going to just be chill. You're going to just try to just humble yourself or you're just going to try to be a better person. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, you're trying to just better yourself in. You understand what I'm saying? And it just feels like when you're always trying to be positive, People always come with a negative, like they try you, they try you, they try you. And this feel like to me, it ain't just been the last two weeks, but it seemed like the last two weeks has been very frequent. You know what I mean? And I'm going to definitely tell y'all about that. But anyway, I hope y'all have like a really great day, a really amazing day, because I am, you know, I feel like this. If I wake up, I'm having a great day. If I go to sleep, I'm having a great day. If I just right out throughout the day. I'm having a great day. Regardless of what it is, you made it through that entire day. It's a great day. Regardless of somebody that got on your last nerve, regardless of somebody that pissed you off, regardless of somebody that hurt you, regardless if they done angered you, regardless if they done made you happy. If you done made it through that entire day, it's been a great day because some people don't even make it throughout the day. So I'm going to just say this. It's always a great day. I really don't try to allow nobody to steal my vibe, but then there's sometimes you just got to come out of your shell and just come out of your character. And I try not to do that because I know the person that I am. But other than that, y'all, listen, let me tell y'all, it's really good to be back because, and while I'm talking to y'all, I'm going to try to clean up my little makeup area right here because my daughter Tati hooked me up with some makeup, some new makeup, because she had bought a whole bunch of makeup and she hooked me up with some of the colors that she didn't like, which went really well with me. Like, listen, you want to give me some makeup? I'm going to take it because I got a nice little, a nice collection right here. So I like free stuff. I like to be stuff. But so she's hooked me up with some really nice makeup, like lip gloss, lip butters, all kind of stuff, especially colors that I like. So I thank her very kindly. Okay. And along with pressed powders and stuff like that. Yes. You know, that's how we do. So while I'm talking to y'all, I'm going to just, you know, clean up this little area. So if I don't give you eye contact, I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just trying to clean up because I do like things clean. I'm a very picky person and not even picky, but I just try to stay organized as best as possible. And I really do need to go through my makeup collection and get rid of the old and come through with the new because I don't even wear a lot of this makeup anymore. I don't really wear makeup like that anyway. You know, the only time you really see me wear makeup is when I'm doing a video. It has something to do with wig. Like right now, I got, you know, I got my little natural curls popping, you know, the haircut that I gave myself. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best thing ever since sliced bread. Um, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to get used to it, okay? It's going to grow back. I think it is actually going back. So anyway, let me tell y'all, I was sick for like two weeks. And that's why I didn't have like too many videos come out. You know, the videos that y'all did see were already pre-recorded and they were already pre-uploaded. You know, I scheduled them. So when I'm able to do that, then I do that. And that was like a really cool thing for me to be able to do. But there was a week where there was only one video. And girl, let me tell y'all, I was on my ass. When I say on my ass, I was out. I had finally caught the flu. And when I say finally, meaning I've never caught the flu in my life and I've never had a flu shot. So I think like, I don't want to say I lucked out, but I kind of did luck out and God has been on my side. But um, it caught up with me. And I really honestly thought that it was just the beginning of a cold. You know, when you first get a cold, you sit like the first you know day or two. At least I am. I don't know about nobody else, but at least I am. So when I got the chills and stuff, I thought like, you know, the next day I'll wake up and I'll be fine. Girl, no, I was sick with the flu and I really didn't expect it to feel like that because from what I heard from a lot of people, when they told me what the flu symptoms are like, not the COVID, because I got that too. in um, like around November, I got the COVID and I didn't even believe I had the COVID because I didn't feel like anything. I thought they were lying. But anyway, so when I heard people tell me about, you know, what it feels like to get the flu, you know, a lot of people described it as, oh my God, you're going to feel like you want to die. You're going to feel like you're dying. You're going to have diarrhea. You're going to vomit. Your body is going to be so sore. You'll know when you get the flu. You're going to be sick with the chills. This is what I'm expecting to feel like, you know, because I've heard this for not just my mother, but my sister, but a couple of the friends that I do have, you know, people in the past couple of years. This is what has been, you know, has been told to me. So I was looking for those type of symptoms. No, I did get the chills. Okay, I did get the chills. And I did, um, 
I didn't get diarrhea and I didn't vomit, you know. I just couldn't go to the bathroom. I got the chills. I was always cold. I was really sick. I was weak. You know, basically for me, what it did was it took all the energy that I had. It just seemed like it sucked the life out of me. And whenever, and I sweated. I sweat so bad with the, um, with the flu. It was like really like a horrible feeling of sweat. And I was just very weak. So I spent like 10 days, I think, on the couch and in my bed. And it was like the worst experience ever because I'm not that type of person that likes to just sit still and do nothing all day. I'm used to being on the move. So I was finally able to regain my strength back um, over the weekend, Sunday, actually. Sunday, I was back to like 90% of myself and I was so happy. And then, you know, Monday, I was at back to like 100%. You know, so I, you know, I... I was happy I was there. But the one thing that has been bothering me for the past years is I haven't slept in like four years. Like y'all are like, what do you mean you haven't slept? I haven't slept in over four years. Okay, I haven't. You know, when you go to bed night, night, sleepy sleep time, you go to sleep, right? You sleep for like eight hours, six, 10 hours, whatever you time you go to bed and wake up. You know, you, you get a decent a night amount of sleep. I haven't slept in over four years. Okay, so for the past three years, three and a half years, I get like about two, three to four hours of sleep a night. And I could fall asleep. It's the thing that I can't stay asleep. So I haven't been able to stay asleep in all this time frame. Sometimes I get like these bad um, night sweats, you know, hot flashes, because you know, I've had a full hysterectomy. So I am going through changes. I had to go through premenopause at an early age. They had to take both of my ovaries, my, all my ovaries, they took everything. I don't have anything. And if they wouldn't have took one of my tubes, my fallopian tubes, within the following year, the doctor said I might have, could, could have gotten cervical cancer. So when I woke up, everything was I was supposed to wake up with one, but when I woke up, everything was gone. And I accepted that, you know, so no period or anything like that, which is cool. Who wants to bleed? But anyway, so with that being said, I have suffered throughout the years with horrible hot flashes. And from what I was told by my doctor, I wouldn't go through menopause until I was at least like 53, he said. I don't know how they calculate this, girl. This is just what was told to me. But that's neither here nor there. Being that, you know, I don't got nothing, I went through it really early. So... Because of that, those are the, a lot of the reasons why I haven't been able to sleep throughout the night. You know, I don't be able to sleep because I wake up with bad hot flashes, bad sweats. For the past year and a half, it's gotten really worse. It's got worse to where I probably wake up, I want to say like 10 to 11 times throughout the night. You know, and if I got up in the bathroom, it's hot flashes. It don't be hot flashes. I just can't stay asleep. And for the past four or five days now, I haven't slept at all. When I tell you I haven't slept, last night I got like about an hour's worth of sleep. Um, I went to sleep at 8.30, I went to bed at 8.30, and my daughter Tati had got me these magnesium glycinate pills that people have been taking to kind of like shut your brain down a little bit. It's supposed to like help you stop thinking so hard and be able to relax. And so she got me these and I laid down at 8.30 and I did fall asleep. Um, I laid down at 8 o'clock and I did fall asleep. Like probably like about 8.40, I had fell asleep. By 8.59, I was back awoke. Cause I had the phone by my bed, so I looked. And I went right back to sleep, maybe probably like 10 minutes later. And um, by 9.28, I was awoke again. This vote went on throughout the whole night. And I, when I tell you I checked the phone every time, by five o'clock, I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just stay up because I'm up anyway. So I really probably got like a good hour to hour and a half of sleep last night. And the night prior to that, it was 40 minutes. And then the night prior to that, it was not at all. So I haven't slept in like days. And when I haven't slept like this, like I don't be tired. Like, you know how you get tired, you wake up, your eyes hurt. I don't be like that. I just be fine. And for the life of me, I'm trying to figure out why can't I sleep? Why am I so restless? You know, this is the things that I've been thinking about, you know, like why? And I've reported this to my doctors. I've said stuff to them. Oh, we're going to run tests. They never, they never do a damn thing. So yesterday I actually went in the doctor's office and I had to like change up my whole vibe, my whole attitude, because you know, when you try to be nice to people, you just try to be respectable. That's basically what it is. You try to be respectable to people because you treat people the same way that you would want to be treated in return. And that's what I'd be trying to do to people. You know, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I know when you take tests for hospitals and doctor's office, it doesn't come back right away. It takes a minute, you know, you got to diagnose. So I give time, I give patience and time and I give respect. Girl, listen, this has been going on with this new 
new doctor of mine for like a year and a half. I done told this bitch, okay? And when I call her that, it's because, first of all, she went on our own. She my color. She our color. And I would think, like, you would understand the, the sisterhood. You would understand what I'm telling you. You would understand where I'm coming from. You would understand what I'm going through. You would just understand. No, this bitch done, done wrote all kind of crazy shit. Every time I come up in there, they ask me, do I still, when is the last time I got my period? Girl, you looking on my charts. It's been five years. Why you keep asking me the same goddamn thing? Not only that, but when I went to the doctor's last Thursday while I was sick with the flu, she took my blood again. She had somebody call me back that following Monday telling me the reason why I don't get no sleep is because I eat greasy foods and I drink. Now, I don't even know where you got that shit from because I don't eat greasy foods. I'm not about to stand here and fry some chicken and fry pork chops and all that shit every day because I don't like standing over the stove, okay? So once in a blue, I will make pork chops, but I don't eat greasy foods every day. I don't even eat greasy foods like that shit. You know what I'm saying? And drink, I don't drink like that because once I drink, when I have a drink of wine, you know, I do drink wine occasionally, but that brings such a bad hot flashes. When I drink, when you consume alcohol, when you have menopause, you get bad reactions, bad hot flashes. I know for me, I do. So I really don't drink like that a lot. Smoke some weed, okay? I will do that. But, um, so this is what she's telling the guy. Like, oh, word, because of this. So I go up there, and but mind you, the person who called me with the diagnosis, I couldn't understand a word, damn near what he was saying. I don't even think he was saying. So, you know, I had gotten really, I was tired of it. At this point, I was over it. So I took my ass right to the doctor's office and I made a complaint. Let them know I didn't want her no more. I want a new doctor. I want to see somebody right now and I want to make a complaint right now. I guess I got my word in edgewise. I guess they understood the assignment yesterday because I said what I had to fucking say. But it just sucks that you have to really advocate for yourself like this. If I'm telling you how I'm feeling and I'm telling you how I'm feeling, you should really realize it after a while. So now I got a new doctor and Friday I'm going to go see her and hopefully they give me some type of prescription because I need to get some type of rest. I need to get some type of sleep. It's not that my, I'm, I'm not sleepy, but it's very healthy to get rest. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody don't want to toss and turn and wake up and keep waking up constantly, constantly, constantly in the bed every night. You know, I've tried everything. I've tried melatonin, okay? I've tried sleep tabs. I've tried NyQuil. I, I don't stay asleep. I can wake up like every 30 minutes, every 20 minutes. And lately it's gotten really, really bad to the point where please, somebody help me. You know what I'm saying? And I think like, for me, even my daughter said, I probably manifested this one statement that I always say, you can sleep when you're dead. You can sleep when you're dead. And I really mean that. And when I say that is because I don't like to sleep in late. I don't like to lay up in the bed all day. I don't like to be lazy. I'm not a lazy person. You know, life is short. You got to enjoy it while you can. It's only 24 hours in a day. So enjoy it while you can. But God damn, let me get some rest. So that's one thing that I've been going through. You know, I really haven't slept in like over four years. And I mean, I don't know if you guys got a suggestion then I'll be more than happy to try it because like I said, I've tried basically everything. Um, I've had the patch on for my, my hormones and that doesn't work. And yesterday when I finally was able to speak to someone and get a diagnosis and speak to like another therapist and another doctor, it was like, it's clearly your hormones. It's clearly my hormones because they said when you are going through menopause, one of the symptoms is insomnia. And if you know this, and even the doctor that I did have that I got rid of, why don't you do something for me? Why, why allow me to suffer? Shit, I like to sleep. I like to get rest. You know what I'm saying? And shit like this. But, you know, if you guys got some suggestions to tell me what to do, then I'm all for it. I'll, I'll be more than glad to listen. You know, y'all have come through with a lot of suggestions for my hair regrowth. And I would like to thank the young lady who told me about the pills. For, so I do take those. I haven't taken them in a week because I've been sick with the flu. And I've been taking other kind of medications. So I didn't want to kind of allow that to interfere. But I went back to taking those. And, um, yeah, that's basically, you know, what I've been going through. And not only that, but, like, let me, let me tell y'all. I wasn't even going to say nothing about it about this but people be acting on some real real weird shit like on some real shit like let me tell you something when you break up with somebody it's called a breakup it means it's over ain't no words i don't got nothing to say to you uh maybe you could be cordial to one another that's that's you know what i'm saying you could be decent and respectful to one another especially if y'all have children together and y'all know my situation i blocked you and then i unblocked you because 
you. Maybe you want to communicate to me. You was respectable, and I allowed you to be respectable to me. So I unblocked you, okay? And I might hear from you every once in a blue, how the kids, because they don't return the messages to him. And that's fine. That's their phone. That's their business. I'm not about to force nobody to return nobody's call, text message. If they blocked you, that's what it is. They have their reasons. I, listen, they grown. I'm not about to be in the middle of it. When your kids can realize who you are in life, then that's on them, and that's on them. They grown. I'm not about to tell them, well, you better return his call or return his message. I'm not going to do that because that's your phone, and you grown, and you entitled to your feelings. You know what I'm saying? There's options to this. But when you reach out to me, you know, be respectable. Now, I had to reach out to you because you had a credit card mailed to my home. Now, what I would have did, because what I have been doing is just tossing it in the mailbox, return to sender. But I realized it was a credit card. So I'm going to be decent and let you know, hey, is there somewhere I can send this to you? Because it's your credit card. I got the address sent it. Now, you, 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 you know, you said thank you. You're welcome. I could have left it at that. Now you're calling. I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm trying to be like a better person to anybody. I'm trying to be respectful to people. That's what it is. Because I want you to be respectful to me. You called. I had a conversation with you. And I left it at that. Okay? Because you don't need to be in my personal business. Thank you for the compliment on my haircut. I appreciate that. And all that cool stuff. Well, please tell me why. Okay? We're going to move forward to like a couple weeks later. I'm in the bed. And it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Because like I told y'all, I don't get no sleep. I just be up. And sometimes when I be up, I'll, I'll just look on my phone. So I happen to be on my phone. Plus, I was sick with the flu. I was sick. So I was awoke. Girl, I get this notification across my screen from Google Photo. That a photo was shared with me. From him. So I go and I click on it. Because I'm awoke. I'm on my phone. I just so happen to be on my phone. Now, he's awoke too. But I don't know that. Can you please tell me why I clicked on it? It was just an inappropriate video, okay? An inappropriate video that you should not have sent to me. I hurried up and blocked him on Google Photo. Then I texted him because it said in the caption, no disrespect. So you're going to put that with, along with the, what you sent me? Are you out your motherfucking mind? Girl, okay. I hurried the hell up and type text a message, you know, basically letting you know. No disrespect, but you sent me some shit like this. I don't know what type of shit you on and what time you on, but you want some weirdo shit. And don't you ever fucking contact me again in life. You know, I have to say this, but you apologize and you try to tell me that it wasn't being disrespectful, but I get it. You don't like, cause I, I had to, I try to be nice to people because I want people to be nice to me, you know? But I, I think at that moment, after I received that, I, my, the niceness was gone, girl. Oh, I got lashes even stuck on my desk. The niceness was gone, girl. When I tell you, the niceness was gone. I basically was like, don't you ever fucking contact me again in life. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. When I said it was over, it's over. Leave it in the past, okay? You lucky I even respond half the time to you. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is wrong with you? You want some weirdo shit. You know what I'm saying? It was it was on some weirdo shit because I'm, I'm not with that bullshit. I don't give a fuck what we had. Like I said, what we had, that shit is in the past and you could leave it there. But it just seemed like people be on some really weird shit. Uh, not even people, but people, yeah, people, men, women, whatever. I can't just pinpoint it all to men because women be on some weird shit too. But I just felt like that was on some real disrespectful shit. My kids was like, basically, why don't you just leave him blocked? And I and I, I explained to them, you know, y'all have him blocked. And let me just leave up one line of communication. And you should know that from the person that I am and what time it is, that that's what time it is. And there's nothing more. I don't know if you had a drink or two and you got the balls in you to do that, but... Also, another reason why I, I didn't block you back is because I want to be mean. Sometimes I want to be mean. And what, what that being said is, you know, the way you did me, I want to do you back the same way. And I'm going to hurt you just the same way. So I'm going to leave you on red. And you're going to see that shit. And I don't care if you keep texting me, talk about I still care about you. I love you. I'm going to leave you on red. And I'm going I'm to allow you to suffer. And I know that might not be right. And that might be childish. But sometimes you ever feel like you just want to hurt a person's feelings because they did so much shit to you and you don't even have to hurt their feelings physically, but just by leaving them on red and telling them to leave you alone and yeah, and leaving dry messages, that'll irritate a person because they feel like they have a chance with you and you letting them know outright you got no goddamn chance. So yeah, sometimes I do want to be mean to that person. I do because I feel like shit, you did it to me. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? You did shit to hurt me. Why not do it back to you? You know what I'm saying? And I don't even really got to do it like that. If you keep texting, you asking for what you get. If I already told you several times that it ain't even like that, and you keep trying, 
Then you asking for what you get. And I guess you got what you, you was asking for the other day with those text messages. And he still kept trying to apologize after that. Man, I like to go in red and I'll leave you in red. Normally, I don't allow people to see that I read your message. It'll just say delivered. Only certain people will allow you to know that I got, I, I got your message and it was read like my kids. I'll definitely allow my kids to see that I've read their message. Everybody else, like if you're my friend or whatever, if you got an iPhone, then you just see it's delivered. I ain't got to allow you to see that shit is red because what the fuck will for him? I do. I do. Because I, I sometimes I do want to be petty and I'm going to be for real with y'all. Why would I lie? Why would I lie? Sometimes I do want to be petty and sometimes I do want to be mean and nasty just because of the way you did not only me, but your kids. So sometimes I feel like I'm entitled to that. And at least I'm grown and woman enough to admit to that shit. But you're not about to disrespect me. And so at that point, I'm going to still leave you unblocked because you might really need something one day. And I'm not that mean and hateful of a person, but I can be. But until then, I'm I'm gonna just leave you on red and I'm allowing you to keep texting me and you're gonna see that you don't get no return messages from me. Hopefully you'll finally get the shit. Yeah, people be on some weird shit. Men be on some weird shit. That's the, that's another reason why I just decided that single life is best for me. Like I'm and it, and it ain't about being with no relationship because I don't really give a damn about that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 almost 49 years old. I'll be 49 in June. I think 49, right? Yeah, because I'm 40. And for me, like, listen, I lived, I'm 49, I'm about to be 49, so I've enjoyed a lot of my life, okay? But I had, I had enough sex, I had five kids, okay? So I think, yeah, I had enough sex. But I didn't even about a relationship, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't out here worried about no man. I, I love the life that I'm in, and if I love the life that I, if I'm in right now, then I love the life that I'm in. It don't mean that I don't have to add nobody to it, but I love the life that I have. So, and I can't complain about it. I got them thing, except for the fact that I ain't getting no goddamn rest. Okay? I just want a little bit of sleep, y'all. Just a little bit of sleep. Just a little bit of sleepy sleep. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Some weird, 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 I just... I don't know if, I guess if I would have replied with, ooh, like something nasty in return, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where he was trying to go with that shit, but I guess it didn't go where he thought it was going to go, and that's fine, too. But, um, other than that, um, I finally um, revamped my wig website, which I'm so happy about. I did all, all on my own. So if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out, because there is a section in there called Made by Muff. And it was supposed to launch two weeks ago. Everything is there listed, but you can't see it. But because I got sick, I didn't launch it because I didn't know how orders were going to go, how things were going to sell out. And if I couldn't get to the post office and I couldn't get the packages ready, then I didn't want anybody to be delayed. So I waited and it's going to be this coming weekend when I launch it. But it is everything is ready. And um, yeah, I hope you guys really like the items made by Muff because I worked really hard on them. And yeah, I've been, I've been buying stuff. I've been, um, I don't know, I really don't do much. I like, I love AliExpress. Now, you know, I've been on t a couple of times, but AliExpress has some really cool stuff and their shipping is not long at all. Even when it's free, it takes about a week and a half. I got these really cute earrings from AliExpress. I think it was like a dollar or two dollars. These are the Egyptian beetles. Oh my God, I can't remember the top of my head, but I was a huge Egyptian fan. So these are the beetles right here. You know, they're sacred. These beetles are sacred and, um, there's a lot of beetles, a lot of different type of beetles. I think there's like 70 different type of beetles, if I'm correct. Um, but they are, there is one particular one that is very sacred. And this is what that is right here, if you can see. And then I also got these from there, these big bees. I thought these were so cute, like really, really cute from AliExpress. So these are really cute, these ones right here. Super cute. Um, these are really cute. They come in like different colors, but these are gorgeous. These, I love these. Hopefully you guys can see these. Let me show you up close. Um, so I've been buying stuff from AliExpress um, and I really like that. Um, plus I get a lot of, I get some supplies. I get certain things, you know, from there. And, um, you know, I have certain hobbies that I like to do. You know, I love to color. Um, I love to color. I like to make jewelry. So I've been buying, I bought me a couple of coloring books. This coloring book is amazing. It has 101 swear words in it with like different backgrounds, okay? And I freaking love it, okay? Dumbass, oh my God. It is amazing, all right? Badass. Uh, where's the one that I just colored? Let's see. 
for fuck's sake. Um, this was $6 on Amazon. The paper is great. I like the paper somewhat. I do have other coloring books that the paper is a lot smoother. I like the paper to be super smooth. So when I say super smooth, like this one right here is my favorite. And it's got like the best paper ever. With You can use great color pencils. I use oil pencils and markers. And it's always a smooth transaction. So I do, I do color. You know what I'm saying? I do color. Um, that is one of my hobbies and pastimes. Um, I, I do try to keep away from the computer, especially when I was sick. You know, I was sick, so I was coloring a lot because I just can't sit still. But other than that, um, yeah, I, I do color a lot. Um, I try not to spend too much money, you guys. But when you sit at home and you don't got shit to do, you're not feeling well, you do get a little antsy and shit like that. If I ever want to purchase something that's like really, really inexpensive, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I don't really try to spend too much of my heart on coins, on a lot of things, name brand things. I don't really try to spend too much money, but I'm going to show y'all as I'm talking. So other than that, you know, I, I've been, I've been feeling a whole lot better. I, I do feel like a million times better with myself and um, my health, but I don't know how many of y'all have had the flu, but it does take a lot out of you, a lot out of a person. And I really wasn't expecting it like that. You know, I was waiting for what everybody was describing to me, but it took a lot of energy out of me. Um, I got kind of like backed up on some of my work. So, you know, you will see like quite a few videos pushed out. Um, and the, yeah, it was like a lot, but you know, I bought a new washing machine um, while I was sick with the flu because I got tired of my other washing machine sounding like the SWAT team was knocking at my goddamn door and it was trying to escape. So I ended up buying a new washing machine. I guess time was time. You know, I think I had that washing machine for like a good 15 years. So I guess time was ready, was ready. That's what I'm saying. Like it just took a lot out of me. But anyway, other than that, you know, I'm back in the swing of things. I haven't really been vlogging. Um, getting used to um, this short hair. You know, you ever feel like you like something one day and then you don't like it another day. And I think you just gotta find what suits you and what's best for you. Now this is cute, like look at this. I like the colors of this, really minty and eastery. I don't know if this is something that I would for say um, rock on it every day, but it's super cute. I'll leave the information down below of where you can get this, but it's really, a, it's just like a little small bag, you know, something cute and you can ready to go. You know, listen, I don't know about y'all, but I don't spend a lot of money on things, you know, but I thought this was cute. And I have actually got things from this company prior, so they do have some really nice quality stuff. I'm trying to change it up. You know, I'm a, I'm the type of person, I love wearing Crocs. I like to slip my foot into something and, and go. So I'm like a really big croc person. I croc it out, jib it out, you know, crunchy shit like that. But once in a while, I wear, wear some sneakers. And because my feet are so big, I try to find stuff that just kind of goes well with my foot size, you know? So I was able to, you know, see these. I'm not really sure. They, they look cute. They're very colorful, but um, they're very colorful. And I thought these were really cute colorful you know i'm like the type of person i'm a once in a while person you know i will wear something once in a while you you, you have to really get me in like one of those great moods where i'm like you know really really for it and i'm going to i'm going to do it you know and because my feet are so large i don't want anything to bring too much attention to my feet you, you feel what i'm saying so i don't know how often i would wear these but i like bright colors and then i don't like bright colors. i'm really kind of basic you know what i'm saying very basic and that's probably why I, wear, I don't wear makeup every day. I'm, I'm just a basic person. And I'm really trying to get out of my shell of being a basic person. I think like when you get a certain age, you just really want to be comfortable. And I think for me, that's what it is. I just really try to be comfortable. I, there were times when I wouldn't go outside without makeup or hair. But now it's like I don't want to wear the makeup and I don't want to wear the hair all the time. I don't know if it has anything to do with the age, but it, it's just a lot to do with comfortability. I love elastic. And also because I... I have been going through menopause it has been a drastic change in my weight you know and I, I was working out so hard for over a year and the belly weight wasn't going away I've seen so many different medications for menopause proactive I think a pro provitalize it keep popping up on the screen provitalize provitalize $50 for a bottle a month supply of pills I don't really know if I'm gonna shell out $50 because I've tried other things like estrovent, estrovent hormone pills, estrovent menopausal pills, and there's different stages to those. And girl, listen, they haven't really done anything for me. So, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to be 
comfortable in a lot of things that I do. And you know, you ever try to just step out the box and you, you, you try to coach yourself to step out the box, like, girl, you can do this. And I think I do this on an everyday basis, like April. Um, put on some jeans, April. Won't you wear this? You know what I'm saying? Um, April. Wear, try this on. And this is me, like, trying to give myself a pep talk. You feel me? And when it comes to that time, girl, I throw on some sweatpants and some Crocs or some sneakers and be comfortable and, and be, and, and, and then I get in this mood where, well, I don't care if nobody don't like it. Shit, as long as I'm comfortable, you're going to have to like me for like for who I am. And I hate to feel that way all the time, but it is true. It is a true fact. You have to like a person for who they really are. It is what it is. But yes, you guys, I guess that's, you know, I just wanted to chit chat with you guys, um, chop it up a little bit, tell you what I've been up to and so forth. I, um, you know, I don't really got much going on right now because, like I said, I'm recuperating. But y'all can check out the new website. Check it out. This is a set that I made. This is a, a 10 set with 40 charms on it, smaller charms. I have, girl, listen, I got something for everybody, okay? Something for everybody, all different types of styles. So if it ain't for you, you might want to check back because it definitely can be for you. But check out Going With The Wind Wigs, you know what I'm saying? I got some, let me know what you think of the revamping of it. I'll leave the information down below with the items that I showed you in this video. And if y'all got some suggestions on what I could use to get me some sleep and stay asleep, like I could sleep, I just don't stay asleep. But let me know, you know? I'm, I'm listen, it's been four years. I haven't slept in over four years. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon.